Hey, what's good, y'all? Joshua Mallard here. And we're talking all things music and sound design once again. Now, this video is a bit different. I'm going to show you some of what I feel are the most underrated free orchestral virtual instruments out there. Now, Spitfire Labs has been crushing it, and Spitfire has been really giving us a ton of free content, but that's not actually going to be in this video. I'm going to be showing you some of the lesser known instruments out there. Now, to be honest, we did take a huge loss recently. I think performance samples freebies are now unavailable. So performance samples, if you're out there, please give us those great instruments again. But those could not be added onto here because I can't find links for them uh, that are, you know, official. Anyways, we're going to dive into these instruments right away. I have the Luminous Choir from Project Sam. They have the free orchestra series, and this is, in my opinion, one of the best patches you can get into. Let me show you a bit of what's going on here. Beautiful sound. That's a really great free choir patch that you can get from Project Sam. Now, I will point out, if you notice, I'm using no mod wheel right there. It's just, you know, all the way at the top. And one thing I'll point out is velocity does not change anything to do with the attack in this library, as far as I can tell. Though, there is a dynamic control that you can link with the mod wheel. And I'm pretty sure it's just working as some sort of uh, low pass filter. Uh, cutting off to sort of simulate dynamics. So here's an example of that. Still very great, even though it's not, uh, you know, different dynamic layers. That filter is actually putting in a good amount of work. Now, there's no post-processing on this. This is just right out the box, and you can control things like the attack, the release, and the reverb. So this is really just right the default settings. Um, I'm actually going to show you what it's like if you apply your own reverb. So I have some Valhalla Room and I have a really huge Spaces preset, Abandoned Abbey. Um, so I'll just show you what that kind of sounds like. Now I'll mute it. So you can see this is a really flexible sound. It's already pretty big out the box. And with those reverbs, you can get an even better sound. Let's move on to the next one, um, the Pocket Blakis cello. I got this off of VST Buzz way, way back. And I checked and it's still there. Blakis is a great composer. And uh, we're really lucky to have a, a great solo cello legato patch like this let me play you the dry example and then i'll show you what it's like with some reverb but this will give you a good idea of the tone and the dynamic shaping you can do Very nice. 
Now it's a pretty smooth legato. And if you want to get it even smoother, there are settings for that. Um, you know, you could change the release. You could overlap the notes a bit more. Uh, dive in and experiment. There's no cost to you because it's free. So that's a really good amount. We're very lucky too because we have these um, noise adjustments. So we can change the volume of finger noise. Um, there is a round robin setting and there is a polyphonic setting if you want to do multiple voices. So definitely this is a really good library to check out. And with some reverb, it just fits right in. So check this out. Those same two presets I showed you. Really nice. So we'll move on to the next one, but definitely check that one out. This is another Project Sam library from their free orchestra series, um, the Power Strike patch. So this is selections from the really great library, True Strike. Um, so I'm actually going to show you, typically when you're working with percussion, you'll split everything out to different patches, like so you can mix your low instruments, you know, your high instruments, stuff like that. Um, but I'm just going to show you what it's like out the box, all in one patch um, with no post-processing. So no EQ, nothing like that, um, and no reverb. Uh, so check this out. Okay, so just laid that down really quickly and you can tell it does sound very, very nice. Um, there's a good selection of instruments I'll show you right here. Bass drum. A soft bass drum, that's really good to include. Um, so a stick on the rim. Sticks, cross sticking, or, uh, and then snare ensemble. Another one, left and right hit. A flam, um, more like a roll. Tam Tam. So this is actually a prepared piano. That's really cool. Um, if you guys know some good prepared piano libraries, send them my way because I'm looking for one. A Rototom. Okay, I'll show you the rest of these. Symbols. A roll. And a China symbol that's bowed. So really good selection. Um, and you do have control over a lot of these things like the reverb and even the mic mix so we can go clo to the close really dry so you can get super flexible with this if you wanted to or we could go 100 percent stage now in my opinion that's a really nice space you can really hear it in the back so if you want some quick percussion to lay down and have it sitting right that's a really good thing um, and now there's also a cutoff frequency for your low pass filter. So this is also dynamics using that filter again. Um, this is kind of cool. You can reverse the playback. I guess so you can sort of simulate or simulate a roll um, or some sort of fade in if you're trying to do like trailer stuff or just get some cool sounds. Now I'll show you uh, two more percussion patches that I think are really great. This is from Splash Sound Percussion Elements, and they have a war ensemble and an ethnic ensemble patch that I think are really good. These are just, this isn't a loop-based library, but they do have a selection of loops that you can use. And I think they did a really good job programming them, so I'll play those for you. Really sweet. So honestly, as far as free libraries go, this is the most you can ask for. Um, you have all these mic positions. So if I crank up the hall right here. So 
<laughs> clipping a bit, but really huge sound. I can turn up the room mic and turn down the hole. Maybe I want a closer sound. That's super flexible and they have this awesome epic knob um, that lets you sort of, I think it's controlling some of the compression and distortion. So let's see that. I'm starting at less, like all the way on less. And we'll crank it up. So we're getting a lot of a lot more um, punch from that. And there's all these cool settings in here that you can control for like EQing and more compression. So it's really nice. Um, it does look like there's also a reverb send that you can use. Let's hear this. Just really great. Um, not <laughs> not too much else you can ask for. Here's some of the instruments. So some bass drums and some snares. Um, and we can check out the ethnic ensemble as well. And some loops, they're kept up here. So say you want a really close sound, you can really just uh, start messing with it. So really nice. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and definitely check out those instruments. Links will be in the description. And please help me out by subscribing and leaving a comment down below of what you want to see next. I'm always doing composition tutorials, production tutorials, and other topics in music three times a week. So definitely come back for more, and I'll see you guys next time.